Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Texas Tech Red Raiders and the Baylor Bears. Number zero is the franchise type player this team turns to night in and night out. This youngster is an offensive machine. He's got a nice jumper and isn't afraid to go hard to the rock. The Bears will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Bears might be looking at the fight of the season tonight, Dick. Any particular keys to victory for them? For them to win tonight, the keys are as follows. Number one, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. Secondly, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. Third, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Goes up for two. Up. Easy one. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Executes the baby hook. The ball goes out of bounds. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, makes the shot. The outside. Trying to feed inside. Kicks it out. Pushing that basketball. And they get the turnover. And again, they look to run. For two, they are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Handles the pass, blocks the shot. Is this home court advantage or what? There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Up and inside. He shoots from left of the circle. Nope. And up and sinks the shot. That's an 8-0 run. The Red Raiders have a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Lee handles the feed. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. It's stolen. Here they come now on a turnover. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He draws a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Time to pick up the defense here now. Jump hook from the low block. I said he waste any time. He's got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Gets it to go. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Hawkins receives the pass. There's a bad pass right to the defender. They look to get it to the inside. 
That spin move's not going to work. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And the ball goes out of bounds. Looking for a good shot. He tries a three ball. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. The center receives the ball. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block kick. I'm trying to three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position, he's spreading his body and getting the ball. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They're rocking right now, my goodness. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. He drains the shot. <laughs> Looking for a screen on top and got it. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Trying to go inside. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Dumps it in. Controlling the ball. Down he goes and no foul called either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Gave it up. From right of the circle, goes. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Look at that spacing. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. From three-point land, he buries the shot. He puts it up. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. They work it around the perimeter. The shooting guard in the paint drains it. Chapman is feeling good. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. He looks for the bomb, knocks it down. Nick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. The skip pass is picked off. He fires it up. Tickles a twine. The replay's not even enough for this one. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Defense, 
defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. On the dribble, gives it up. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Torkin is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Gave it up in the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. I think this young man is fired up. Moving it around the perimeter. Puts up the tray. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Basket falls despite the contact. On the inside. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. He makes the shot. That's a 7-0 run. He shoots from long range. There was no doubt about that one. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Let me hear you say replay, baby. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He uses the shot fake. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Looking for a good shot. Entry pass in the paint. Lee draws the personal. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. Thanks, Aaron. Two at the charity strike. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Up and inside. He lets it go. Baylor are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. And now they'll bring it up. The Red Raiders have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He fires from long range. Goes in. On the outside, got some room. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it. There. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Intercepted.
come with a double team to stop it. There's the pick. For two. And in and out. Steals a pass. On the outside. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They get out on the break. Tries for two. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Texas Tech are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Look at that space. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. He hits it. Double team now, bad angle. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. That's a nice looking play right here. Cheerleaders on the sideline, how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Goes up for two. Picked out of the air. Had a momentary look from three-point land. The layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop, knowing he was going to get fouled. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. I love the sesame the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders. That's awesome, Brad. He'll visit the charity stripe. He gets it to go. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's gets a hand in the way. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. Texas Tech is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Going to move it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender. In and out. He comes away with it. On the dribble, gives it up. Stolen away. Defender right up on the ball. Oh, he takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. Work 
the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Perfectly executed. Picks off the pass. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. You betcha. Bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. They're going to call this one a backcourt violation, Dick. You can't make mistakes like that too often, Brad. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. There's a double team waiting there. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. They move it into the front court. Chapman fakes the shot. You can't get away with that. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Gave it up. Look at that spacing. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Nice move with a face-up. I tell you one thing, Brown, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. He throws it up from downtown. Off the rim and no good. He tries to knock down the three. The Bears have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Got the high pick. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. The Bears have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. against it with a deep pass opportunity for two for one the Bears have got to continue to get in the ball they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. He wants a three. Got it. Dick at defense looks tired. Hey, that's no excuse. They've got to dig down deep and get the job done. On the outside. 
Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Coming inside. He shoots from downtown. He nails the shot. Just hoping for the best. Too strong. And the ball goes out of play. At the half, the Red Raiders are behind by seven. Nick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. This one's big for me, Brad. The long trifecta. Shots like this can sometimes get a team going in a hurry. It's time to get back to the court, Nick, and see how the second half plays out. Baylor displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and really be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be ready to play. Dick, start of the second half, we take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. And the ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backboards, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know what, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. He strips him clean, jumps in, drops the bucket despite the harm. Great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Gave it up. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. They work the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I tell you, the home fans are going crazy. That's jubilation. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus. Says BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. He intercepts it. From beyond the arc, he buries it. Good job defensively. Baylor have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Looking for a good shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. The ball goes out of play. 
Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts if that stat's negative and absolutely makes you lose here and you get blown like I am. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. There's the fake. Set that screen away. Drains it. They are running right through this defense. The bombs are bursting, baby. He puts up the three ball. It sticks. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. It's crazy in here, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. They're definitely having some fun out there. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The Red Raiders trail by nine. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Fakes a jumper. He goes for three. Chapman is getting it done for his team right now. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. A high screen. He rejects it. Picks off the lazy pass. He bombs from outside. Gets it to go. Watch this again. And the ball goes out of play. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. They're working around the perimeter. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. They say, forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. loose but the offense got it back up easy one the Red Raiders trail by five intercepted and a momentary look from three-point land and Dick this is just playing good defense really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot here they go into the break Mary's at home. Captain, 
Way out on top, controlling the ball. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from here. <laughs> He dials long distance. It's good. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Jam City, baby. That's a rim rocker. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. And the jam. That's seven unanswered. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He lets it go. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. On the outside. Tries for two. Texas Tech are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. off goes up for two perfectly executed puts it on the floor and up and under I got a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move and good footwork it's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork Break opportunity here. Looking for the foul. Thinks about the shot. Sets the screen for his teammate. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, there's a lot of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff can't seem to get anyone in sync. It's certainly not the game we anticipated seeing. In fact, some of these fans around me can't believe it either. All right, thanks, Aaron. Picked off. Long lead pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Three. He nails the bucket. And the fans here are loving the action. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Ball was tipped loose, but he cashed in on the layup and gets the foul. He knew he was going to get fouled, Brad, but he took the hit like a man. He goes to the line for the first time. It goes in. He intercepts it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. From three-point territory, that's good. Two in and out. Tinsley is being praised by the crowd. What a great reception. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Stolen away. Fast break possibility coming. Steals a pass. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Now they work it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to draw some contact. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. Isn't it great, Brad? Way off target. Gave it up. He's got some room. He takes it away. And the ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, opening shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Tries for two. Easy one. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. The point guard takes the feed. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. This one is shaping up to be a barn burner, Dick. At this point in the game, block management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win, I guarantee it. The center with the ball. For two, up, easy one. Takes the pass in the paint. For the deuce. Kicks it out. There's the trap. The small forward gets the ball. He drains the bucket. The Bears will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Gave it up. He puts it up. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. The power forward takes the pass. He comes away with it. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Baylor have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. There's a double team waiting there. Takes it off him. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. Tinsley steps to the line for the first time. It's good. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. On the outside. The center gets the pass. 
Up fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Ten seconds on the clock. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from the angle. He nails the shot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Steals the ball. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Steal. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped him. He buries the shot. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. And he'll kick it back outside. He attempts the three. Baylor have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! Knocks it down! Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Look at that spacing. The dribble gives it up. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They'll work it around the arc. Tries the three. He drains it. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick? You never know what's coming, Brad. The lead is now seven points. This game is still up for grabs, Brad. From the baseline, off the rim and no good. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Up and inside! Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. They push it up on the break. He strokes it. He gets it to fall. First one, four, two. Gave it up. Working it around the perimeter. Well, it's time to start following. They gotta stop the clock, Dick. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. And yet another foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. He is going to the line. Misses the front end of the one-and-one. One. 
Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity stripe quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Let's get ready to resume the action. Seven points right now is the difference in this one. Hey, Brad, seven points is no safe haven. You got to keep pressing. He tries the three. He gets the bucket. On the dribble, gives it up. And the clock stopped with a foul. Nobody likes this part of the game, but the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when to foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Misses the second. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. He missed it. A bucket here is crucial. Down court pass. That's a foul. Well, Dick, the shot seemed to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Makes his second shot. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. And the free throw woes continue. This is embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. He makes the second. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. The Red Raiders are going to call a timeout. And with that, we got a break. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I get a feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Makes both of them. It's all about scoring here if they want a chance at winning. timeout, Dick. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. Rims out. 
Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I'll tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Baylor wins the game. With two teams like this, you knew the game was going to be close. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.